Hello everyone and welcome to our 42nd Annual Golden Hawk Awards. My name is Alice Nguyen and I'm your 2019-2020 ASB President. First off, let me start by congratulating you all for being nominated. Your hard work and dedication have not gone unnoticed, which is why our wonderful OB staff has decided to nominate you for this prestigious award. In light of the coronavirus and social distancing rules, we are unable to host this ceremony in person. However, it does not take away from the distinctiveness of this celebration. As unfortunate as it is, at least we are able to experience this event in the comfort of our own homes and PJs. We will also be having a drawing for the faculty staff scholarship at the very, very end of the celebration. So we will be asking all recipients to please stay until the end of the video. Now, without further ado, let us commence our Golden Hawk Awards with Mrs. McDonough and Mr. Walsh. Congratulations to everyone once again. Good evening and welcome to the 46th annual Golden Hawk Awards ceremony. The ceremony today is a little bit different than we've done in the past, but we're excited to be here to honor our kids. Tonight we will honor those students who have distinguished themselves from their classmates with exceptional achievements. Each of tonight's honorees has worked hard at Ocean View to uphold our proud tradition of academic excellence. Mr. Walsh is right. Their achievements have been exceptional. In fact, only the top 10% of our 1,400 students have the distinct honor of being nominated for this prestigious award. Tonight's honorees have been chosen from 14 areas by a faculty of over 60 teachers. And although 25 of our finest students will go home tonight with medallions, we're enormously proud of all of our nominees. Before we meet tonight's honorees, we'd like to introduce the principal of Ocean View High School, Dr. Courtney Robinson. I am so excited to honor and recognize our Golden Hawk nominees, finalists, and recipients. Every one of you has put in so much time, effort, and passion into our school, and you all deserve this moment to shine. Every student recognized has been a standout in one or several of their classes. They have caught the eye of their teacher in some way. Our nominees are students of character, determination, passion, and perseverance. You all have shown us how you love sharing new ideas, caring for each other, and working for a better world. You all should feel proud of what you have accomplished. As I was thinking of what I was going to say, I kept thinking about what the word golden means. The words that came to mind are bright, brilliant, excellent, flourishing, successful, valuable, and promising. These words can be used to describe all of these students, but the one that stood out to me the most was promising. When I look at all of these candidates, I see a promising future ahead for them and for us. These students exemplify what it means to be a Golden Hawk candidate and a Seahawk. We are all so proud of each and every one of you. Thank you, nominees, for your hard work and dedication. You are role models for other students. As your principal, I am in awe of what you have accomplished, and I look forward to all of the things that you will do in your lives. Thank you, Dr. Robinson. Now let's reflect back to when tonight's honorees were children and take a minute to recognize the parents for their role in their children's lives. That's right, Brenda. This moment in time came because of thousands of earlier moments in time. Moments when these students were cuddled by you, encouraged by you, and loved by you. You fostered their determination, their imagination, and their vision to see what they could become. And you should be proud. And now, without further ado, let's meet our super talented Golden Hawk honorees. Our first award tonight will be presented in athletics. Two awards will be presented, one for boys and one for girls. And the honorees for boys athletics are Brandon Alcaraz, football. Miguel Flores, soccer, cross country, and track. Michael Gautier Barrett, track. Diego Gonzalez, cross country, soccer, and track. Amar Herrera Guzman, soccer and volleyball. Shane Hoodman, baseball. Slater Miller, basketball. Raxel Ortiz, wrestling. Nathan Santee, soccer and golf. Harper Walpole, soccer, cross country and track. The three finalists in the area of boys athletics are Miguel Flores, Diego Gonzalez, and Nathan Santee. And the Golden Hawk winner is Miguel Flores. Hello, my name is Enrique Najera, and on behalf of Ocean View High School Cross Country, Soccer, and Track and Field, I would like to congratulate Miguel Flores on being the winner of the Athletics Golden Hawk Award. 
Miguel helped our cross country team make Ocean View history by making it to the state finals in back to back years. He helped take our track and field team to the next level by being a great role model for our younger student athletes. And in soccer, he brought out the best in his teammates, which earned him a selection to the 2020 CIF All-Star Team and a soccer scholarship to Hope International University. Miguel, thank you for all you have done for our Ocean View community. And in the words of your coach, Daniel Hurtado, thank you for helping many of us live some of the most exciting moments of our lives, for always running your best when we needed you the most, for being the teammate and captain that everyone respects, and for being our friend and family. We can't wait to watch you succeed in everything you do in life. We love you. Si se puede. Congratulations. And now presenting the honorees for girls athletics. The honorees for girls athletics are Bella Callazo, basketball. Ariana Henke, softball and golf. Elizabeth King, cross country and track. Autumn Knox, water polo and swim. Isabella Colstead Kahn, track. Kate Marsh, soccer and track. Isabella Messina, soccer and track. Allison Nguyen, volleyball. Jody Thorne, dive. And Lydia Villanueva, tennis and swim. The three finalists in the area of girls athletics are Kate Marsh, Allison Nguyen, and Lydia Villanueva. And the Golden Hawk winner is Allison Nguyen. Hello, Ocean View family, and hello to you, Miss Allison Nguyen. Congratulations on being this year's Athlete of the Year. Allison played beach volleyball, club volleyball, and the hardest of them all, she played volleyball here at Ocean View for me, and she was a part of the backbone of our team. During her time with us, she won three times in a row, first team all league, as well as MVP this past season. Allison always resembled what it meant to be a leader, whether that was taking a new position and dominating it, or just making sure that the gym was always set up. She showed you what it meant to feel responsibility for all your teammates without being asked to do it. And she did it all while laughing or smiling because she was always having a good time. Allison, thank you so much for being you. As your coach, I can sincerely say that my job would have been a lot harder if you weren't on my team. You are an amazing athlete, scholar, painter, and overall amazing person who completely deserves this award. So again, Allison Nguyen, congratulations on being this year's Athlete of the Year. And now the honorees for Abbott. The honorees for Abbott are J.D. Barrera, Melanie Grace, Raymond McNeil, Valentin Soriano, and Kelly Villa. The three finalists in Abbott are J.D. Barrera, Raymond McNeil, and Kelly Villa. And the Golden Hawk winner is Kelly Villa. While it is incredibly difficult to choose our senior AVID Golden Hawk winner this year, AVID has chosen Kelly Villa as the Golden Hawk winner. She's confident, thoughtful, and not afraid to take chances. Kelly's an incredible student who has a hysterical sense of humor and cares deeply for others. Her astounding GPA, her incredible work ethic, and devotion to friends and family make her a standout for our program. Kelly takes incredibly challenging classes, volunteers extensively, and has been very proactive at researching her career choice, law enforcement, by interviewing a detective. She's an active volunteer at homeless shelters and is genuinely passionate about community service. She's racked up hundreds of hours. She also participated in the Orange County Sheriff Department CSI Explorers program, which cemented her interest in becoming a homicide detective. Kelly will be attending Cal State Long Beach in the fall and she plans to study criminology and criminal justice with a minor in forensic studies. She credits her family, including her older sister, as major contributors to her success and the people who pushed her to be the best version of herself. We are so proud of you, Kelly, and can't wait to see what you achieve. And now the honorees for Business Academy. The honorees are Caitlin Conklin, Jaden Driggs, Isabella Colstad Khan, Daisy McCaffrey, Casey Nguyen, Colby Nguyen, Emmy Sedaris, Diana Vasquez, Lydia Villanueva, and Zachary Von Cannon. The three finalists in Business Academy are Jaden Driggs, Colby Nguyen, and Lydia Villanueva. And the Golden Hawk winner for Business Information Systems goes to Colby Nguyen. Colby Nguyen is an inspiration to our Business Academy students and staff. 
His attitude and effort transcends the BA. A quote that exemplifies what Colby Nguyen is all about goes like this. Great effort springs from great attitude. Colby lives this every day. He is truly genuine, humble, and someone you'd want to get to know. On our executive board, Colby is a leader who is respected by all. He praises others and never seeks personal admiration. Colby is quick to volunteer and loves to collaborate with others. And he will admit when he made a mistake and never seeks to blame others. Colby is truly inspired by his grandpa and his family. And he would like to recognize their valuable contribution to his life. They have taught him success to never believe that something can't be done. But rather through hard work and attitude, anything is possible. Colby Nguyen stands out as one of the finest students that has come through the BA, and he inspires me. On behalf of the BA, Colby, we are so proud of you, and we love you. Ocean View's Fine Arts Department presents three awards. These Golden Hawks are in the area of Fine Arts Visual, Performing Arts Vocal, and Performing Arts Instrumental. The honorees for Fine Arts Visual are Kyle Aguilar, Angel Alvarez, Mackenzie Desjardins, Caitlin Loom, and Kylie Watson. The three finalists in the area of visual arts are Angel Alvarez, Caitlin Loom, and Kylie Watson. And the Golden Hawk winner is Kylie Watson. Hi, my name is Shane Browski and I'm the ceramics teacher at Ocean View High School. It's my pleasure and honor to be presenting to you tonight the 2020 Golden Hawk Award winner for the Visual Arts Department. I want to congratulate all the nominees on their strong performances and projects this year for our department. However, this year's winner, I feel, truly stands out as being an artist through and through in every sense of the word. This year's 2020 Visual Arts Award winner for the Golden Hawk is Kylie Watson. One of the reasons I got into teaching was to help kids find themselves and raise their awareness but it seems I may be a little bit late in helping Kylie with that as she has figured out a lot about the world and herself already and I couldn't be more proud. Many times people associate being a good artist with being talented. There's no question, talent plays a part, but in my years of experience of teaching art, it's clear to me that the word talent is misused. From what I know about art, the more awareness you have about the world around you, the more talented you appear to others. A great artist doesn't just manipulate the art, the elements of art, but they can also implement those elements and apply them to the many principles in order to create and evoke an emotional response from people. All of this often gets misconstrued as talent, when in reality, a great art is just a physical execution of one's perceptive awareness. It's clear then that Kylie has an incredible awareness of the world around her. Kylie's works this year have demonstrated that on a consistent basis. She doesn't just make a project, she creates a work that generates emotional responses from people. Her work this year has created a sense of awe, wonder, and inspiration not only for her fellow students but also her teachers. It turns out she's also a fine vocalist, being in honors choir for three years, as well as being nominated for the Performing Arts Golden Hawk Award in choir as well. Kylie has also participated in track and is also a member of the D&D and GSA club and it's nice to see that she's branched out to get involved in her school. But let's make one thing clear. Kylie is an artist through and through. Congratulations, Kylie. I can't wait to see how and what you will create in your future. I'm so proud to have you as one of my students. The honorees for performing arts vocal are Acacia Marchbanks, Gavin Mosier, Lillian Sattler, Jody Thorne, and Kylie Watson. The three finalists in the area of performing arts vocal are Acacia Marchbanks, Jody Thorne, and Kylie Watson. And the Golden Hawk winner for performing arts vocal is Jody Thorne. Jody Thorne is nothing short of sensational. Like her stage presence, the list of her splendid skills and successes is quite striking and impressive. During her six years as a member of the Ocean View Music Department, she has won two state band championships, qualified for three grand championships, was captain of the guard, became the first president of the United Sound, and spent the past two years as a distinguished member and leader in our top choir. Her fellow sopranos lauded her kindness and dependability, stating that she always tries to make everyone feel included, and that she goes out of her way to communicate with everyone to make sure they're all on the same page and know what to do and where to be for our performances and concerts. 
In my years as choir director, I've rarely seen anyone devote so much time outside of class in service to the choir, let alone the rest of the music department. Be it countless free periods or lunch hours transcribing music for our ensembles to perform, building props and set pieces for our shows, or simply setting up cables and wires and sound equipment for our concerts, Jody's signature brand of service is the epitome of dedication and devotion to the group. After high school, Jody hopes to teach music to special needs children while working on getting an RN in neonatal nursing. What an incredible heart. Here's to you, Jody. We can't wait to see what you do. The finalists in the area of performing arts instrumental are Faith Bell Flores, Dawson Rodriguez, Andrew Ruiz, Lillian Sattler, Jarrett Spurlock. The finalists in the area of performing arts instrumental are Dawson Rodriguez, Andrew Ruiz, and Lillian Sattler. And the Golden Hawk winner for performing arts instrumental is Lillian Sattler. When I first met Lily, I had no idea the treasure that stood before me. Over the past several years, I have watched that treasure unfold and display the brilliant virtues of discipline, thoughtfulness, patience, joy, laughter, and service. These virtues have enriched the instrumental music program here at Ocean View in many, many ways. During marching season, you could always count on Lily to be helping load and unload equipment at competitions or assisting the freshmen and sophomores with marching and playing. But maybe her greatest act of service came last February at the start of the spring semester. United Sound was in desperate need of a mentor musician for our special needs flutist, Anson. Now, while many seniors enjoy a free period in their day in order to be in concert band, jazz band, and choir, Lily is taking eight classes, zero through seventh period without a break. She had every excuse to turn down the mentorship, but instead she rearranged her entire schedule, dropping choir in order to fit United Sound in her schedule so she could be there for Anson. Such a beautiful servant heart. And if her heart doesn't win you over, she has the talent to match. This year, she earned principal chair first flute in the district honor band with the highest audition score of not only the entire flute section, but of all the top musicians on every instrument across all six high schools in the HBU HSD. Lily, your tremendous heart, your demure demeanor, and your caring character are a combination that will take you beyond the halls of Ocean View High School. I, for one, can't wait to see where you'll go. The Social Science Department presents awards in two categories, American Studies and World Studies. The honorees in American Studies are Isabella Brannon, Emily Fitzpatrick, Daniela Gawan, Caitlin Loom, Gavin Mosier, Allison Nguyen, Trish Nguyen, Jordan Agawa, Victoria Salcido, Jarrett Spurtlaw, Andrew Takisaka, and Harlan Van Cow. The four finalists in the area of American Studies are Emily Fitzpatrick, Gavin Mosier, Allison Nguyen, and Jordan Nagawa. And the Golden Hawk winner is Jordan Nagawa. From defending Great Britain for being at fault during the Great War to fiercely negotiating during the Washington Naval Conference, you can count on Jordan to take our class simulation seriously. Jordan is genuine in her interest in learning and growing. She's a stellar student, an excellent writer, debater, and speaker. Jordan, it's been a pleasure to teach you this year, and I know you will excel at Westmont next year in their honors program studying pre-med. She would like to thank her dad for being such a huge support and comfort. Congrats, Jordan. And now for the honorees in World Studies. Diane Dow, Claire Dickens, Jackson Engler Carlson, Jeremiah Santiago, Raymond Macias, Ahn Nguyen, Caitlin Nguyen, Natalie Nowatney, Regan Preciado, Emma Santi, Athena Tan, Daniel Vasilevko. The four finalists in the area of world studies are Claire Dickens, Jackson Engler Carlson, Caitlin Nguyen, and Regan Preciado. And the Golden Hawk winner is Caitlin Nguyen. Caitlin Nguyen is a wonder in the classroom. She is thoughtful in her work, a strong writer, a maverick at answering multiple choice questions, and a competitive speaker. Seriously, if you want a strong person in your group that will do her part and more, Caitlin is golden. In our trial of Genghis Khan, Caitlin delivered the most powerful closing remarks I've ever witnessed as Genghis Khan's defense lawyer. 
She will no doubt be a mover and shaker and we need passionate people like Caitlin. Caitlin is our SOAR club president who during the holidays put together care packages for our troops, along with being active in golf and Model United Nations. Congratulations, Caitlin. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we honor the hard work and achievements of our International Baccalaureate full diploma candidates. International Baccalaureate is a highly regarded academic program offered at Ocean View High School, otherwise known as the IB program. And now for the honorees for the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program. Emily Fitzpatrick, Jessica Garcia Solis, Leah Marsh, Jordan Ogawa, and Arika Uriarte. To present the Golden Hawk Award recognitions for International Baccalaureate is IB Coordinator Brandon Knight. Hello, International Baccalaureate is the gold standard for pre-university educational programs. Ocean View is proud to offer IB as one of the most respected secondary educations available. This year, we have over 200 students enrolled in IB courses with two categories of students, courses students and full diploma candidates. Courses students have many options, taking one or more courses. They're awarded college recognition for credit for passing their exams. Full diploma candidates deserving special recognition have completed six IB courses in addition to a theory of knowledge class, completion of a 4,000 word independent research project, and participation in a two-year service learning program. It's no surprise then that most prominent universities in the U.S. have developed IB policies for diploma candidates, including advanced placement and standing, course credit, and special consideration at the time of admission. We are here to honor the hard work and achievement of our IB full diploma candidates. Together we salute their dedication and accomplishment. Well done, IB class of 2020. Thank you. And now the honorees in our ideas program nominations. The honorees are Ian Belts, Joshua Hernandez, Shana Nguyen, Vincent Pham, and Sergio Silvas. The three finalists for our Ideas program Golden Hawk are Shana Nguyen, Vincent Pham, and Sergio Silvas. And the Golden Hawk winner is Shana Nguyen. Shana Nguyen. You are so deserving of this award. I cannot tell you enough how proud I am of you and all of your accomplishments. You truly are an exceptional student and a role model for all other students. You always try your best despite any challenges you might face. You have the most positive attitude and outlook on life. I am so grateful to have worked with you over the last four years and I am so proud of the young lady you have become. Shana, congratulations. Uh, when I see you on the basketball court with your steely resolve and going against players and athletes that are, that are 10 times bigger than you and you don't give up and you stick your ground, you are so, I'm so proud of you. And when I see you get on stage and deliver your lines without fear in front of a large audience, uh, I'm truly amazed. Congratulations on the Golden Hawk. Shana Nguyen, you are so deserving of the Golden Hawk Award. You were such a leader on our Unified Sports Leadership Council. You attended the meetings, you wanted to help, and you had some fantastic ideas. Not to mention, you were an animal when you were on the basketball court. I am happy to have known you, and I am happy to have taught you. Ladies and gentlemen, now we proudly present the honorees in English Language Arts. The honorees are Isabella Brennan, Jack Bush, Emma Kraft, Jackson Inglar Carlson, Emily Fitzpatrick, Sage Frock, Jessica Garcia Solis, Landon Gotchman, Christina Ho, Sophia Kernell, Madison Kerr, Joshua King, Caitlin Loom, Gavin Mosier, Allison Nguyen, Christine Nguyen, Caitlin Nguyen, and Colby Nguyen. Jordan Nagawa, Thais Ortega, Regan Preciado, Jarrett Spurlock, Max Takis, Christian Torres, Arika Uriarte, 
Harlan Van Cow, Lydia Villanueva, Mai Vu, and Kevin Wong. The nine finest in the area of language arts are Sage Frock, Jessica Garcia Solis, Joshua King, Gavin Mosier, Allison Nguyen, Colby Nguyen, Jordan Nagawa, and Lydia Villanueva. English Language Arts awards two students with Golden Hawk medallions. This year's Golden Hawk winners are Emily Fitzpatrick and Sage Frog. Emily Fitzpatrick is a stellar student with a 4.8 weighted GPA. Throughout her time at OV, Emily has received a plethora of awards for her outstanding achievements, including several Golden Hawk nominations in science, mathematics, English, and history, as well as accolades for her performance in tennis, soccer, and track. Emily has been an active, award-winning member in many clubs, including California Scholarship Federation, National Honor Society Key Club, MUN, and JSA. Emily's wide array of experiences reflect her interest in international politics, human rights, cultural anthropology, neurology, and psychology. She also loves cooking and baking. Her passion for biology has laid the groundwork for her educational path as her major while attending CSU Long Beach and as she looks into various careers. Emily says she never would have worked as hard without her mother and father at her side. Her mother, a professor, inspired a sense of wonder and a love of learning in Emily from a young age. Her mother's tenacity, while at times intimidating, motivated, motivated Emily to push harder, while her bright demeanor taught Emily to flourish as a person. Sage Frock is an amazing student with a 5.2 weighted GPA. She has received several awards, both inside and outside of OV. In 2019, she received nominations for Golden Hawks uh, in World Languages, History, Science, Mathematics, and English. She was honored with the HB City Council Appreciation Award and named Best Speaker at the UCLA Bird Institute for her work in Junior State of America. Sage, in addition to her leadership roles in JSA, is also part of the Debate Club, California Scholarship Federation, Key Club, NHS, and Engineering the Community. Her efforts to give back to the community also manifest in her volunteer work at the Assistance League and Sunrise HB. In her spare time, Sage enjoys painting, dancing, and reading. Sage plans to attend UCLA next year with a double major in Spanish and psychology. She attributes her success to Ms. Quintero, whose hard work, dedication, and care for all her students has inspired Sage with her passion in Spanish. Now, let's meet our honorees in mathematics. The honorees are Benjamin Bush, Jack Bush, Gerardo Cazares, Emily Fitzpatrick, Ruby Garcia, Victor Garibay, Saul Hernandez, Christina Ho, Sina Cavoli, Kiaresh Kianfar, Joshua King, Isabella Kolstad Khan, James Legg, Caitlin Wu, Jessica Lane, Alexander Neary, Caitlin Nguyen, Jordan Ogawa, Raxel Ortiz, Kai Pham, Jarrett Spurlock, Max Takis, Adam Tan, Angelina Tan, Megan Vo, and Mai Vu. The eight finalists in the area of mathematics are Emily Fitzpatrick, Saul Hernandez, Sina Kabuli, Joshua King, Isabella Kolstad Khan, Jordan Ogawa, Raxel Ortiz, Adam Tan. Mathematics is chosen for its Golden Hawk winner of 2020, Saul Hernandez. During Saul's junior year at Ocean View High School, he took pre-calculus honors. As his teacher, I was very impressed, not only with his aptitude to do the math, but to understand the concepts behind it and he always seemed to have comments and questions for me that really kept me on my toes. Saul took this motivation and ability into his senior year by taking three AP math classes, AP Computer Science, AP Calculus, and AP Statistics. He is excelling in all three classes. Saul's overall GPA is 4.55, and this, as well as his other accolades, has earned him the distinction at UCI as a Regent Scholar. We're really, really proud of Saul. He's going to attend UCI in the, in the fall and plans on majoring in computer science. And he not only has earned the highest distinction for an incoming freshman at UCI, but he has earned the highest distinction at, at Oshavi High School. He is our 2020 Medallion Golden Hawk winner for mathematics. 
Congratulations, Saul. Our next category is a new one for us. The aim of our OV Learner Profile is to develop internationally minded people who recognize our common humanity, our shared guardianship of our planet, and help create a better and more peaceful world. For this category, we have three different subcategories, caring for others, new ideas, and working for a better world. And now the honorees for the first subcategory, caring for others. Brooke Foreman, Sage Frock, Leo Gruber, Lydia Villanueva, and Mai Vu. The three finalists in the area of caring for others are Lydia Villanueva, Leo Gruber, and Mai Vu. And the Golden Hawk winner is Leo Gruber. Leo Gruber embodies our Ocean View Seahawk learner profile trait of caring for others. I've known Leo for three years, and in those three years, I have learned that Leo is a genuinely great person. Other students at Ocean View love him, and so many of his teachers also love him. At OV, we love caring for each other, and Leo is a Seahawk who has demonstrated time and time again that he also cares for other people. This year, he volunteered his talents as a photographer to take portraits of some of our senior soccer players, and he has captured many sporting events at OV, as well as providing OV athletes and their families with pictures that they cherish. Through his photography talents and enthusiastic personality, he spreads joy in our school. Leo is principled, a man of honesty and integrity. He is open-minded and always trying to push himself to be the best that he can be. And finally, Leo is caring. He is committed to serving his community and making a positive difference in the lives of others. We love you, Leo, and congratulations on your Golden Hawk Award. The New Ideas Award honors students who have demonstrated the following OV learner profile traits. Inquirer, thinker, communicator, and knowledgeable. And now the honorees for the OV learner profile New Ideas. Isabella Brandon, Michael Caruso, Reed Hadman, Lauren Hermans, and Jasmine Navarrete. The three finalists in the area of New Ideas are Isabella Brandon, Reed Hagman and Jasmine Navarrete. And the Golden Hawk winner is Isabella Brand. Uh, I am happy to present this year's Sharing New Ideas Golden Hawk Award to Isabella Brannon. This award goes to students who embody learner profile traits of inquiry, communication, knowledge, and thinking. Bella is very passionate about her work as the president of the Junior State of America Club, where she engages in political debates that encourage students to think critically about issues relating to American politics. In class, she eagerly engages with her peers to ask questions and think about issues from a variety of perspectives. Throughout her career at Ocean View, she has challenged herself with a variety of rigorous IB courses that demonstrate her commitment to learning about the world across a variety of subjects, including science, English, history, psychology, and MUN. Her teachers have been impressed with her enthusiasm for knowledge and her positive attitude. She is a good representation of what it means to be a true OV learner. Congratulations, Bella. And now, the honorees for OV Learner, Working for a Better World. Ulysses Amagon, Hunter Eddings, Emily Fitzpatrick, Margo Hart, and Mai Vu. The three finalists in the area of working for a better world are Ulysses Amagon, Hunter Eddings, and Emily Fitzpatrick. And the Golden Hawk winner is Emily Fitzpatrick. Well, I'm here to present the award for working for a better world, and that goes to Emily Fitzpatrick. And um, I feel honored to speak on her behalf if anyone deserves this award, it's it's definitely Emily. She's she's become Ocean View's best and the brightest over the past four years, um, and she's exemplified this through her incredible hard work uh, and her dedication to not only her 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 studies, but to her kindness and her willingness to help other students as well. Uh, where Emily has really shined and shown off her talents ha has been through all of her courses, but uh, in particular, Model United Nations. She, her dedication to this program, uh, how she's helped me uh, being the co-president, 
um, being my senior teacher, being a mentor towards the younger students has been nothing short of spectacular. Um, she's won multiple awards at various conferences, uh, showing off her talents. Um, and she just demonstrates that innate ability to come up with solutions to worldwide problems um, that, that, that most people don't know how to do. And she does this in the most diplomatic way possible, thus the title of the award. Um, she's passed on all of these skills to the younger delegates. And, and through that mentoring, both as my senior teacher um, and on her own time, she's spent all that time um, working to do that. I feel Ocean View's lucky to have her. And I feel lucky to know such an incredible person. And I have no doubt in my mind that, that Emily is going to do wonderful things. And I'm looking forward to seeing where life takes her because it's going to be an incredible path. And I'm going to miss you most of all, Emily. Congratulations on the award. We move on now to the honorees in the program for English language learners. The nominees are... Hector Aguilar, Mai Nguyen, Kai Fan, Lizeth Romero, and Jocelyn Zuniga Ortega. The three finalists in the area of program for English language learners are Kai Fan, Lizeth Romero, and Jocelyn Zuniga Ortega. And the Golden Hawk winner is Kai Fan. I'm happy to present this year's Pell Department Golden Hawk Award to Kai Fan. Pell stands for Programs for English Language Learners, and students in this program represent a large portion of the Ocean View student population. I first met Kai when he was a sophomore in my history class. He impressed me with his cheerful attitude and his willingness to learn. It was easy to tell that Kai genuinely enjoyed school. He eagerly participated in class, asked questions, and earned great grades, not only in my class, but in all his classes. Each year at Ocean View, he has demonstrated his commitment to education and his diligence has paid off as he has consistently earned strong grades and improved his English speaking abilities each year. He challenged himself with rigorous courses like AP Calculus and three years of Mandarin, in which he earned great grades in all of those classes. His friendly nature and love of learning made him a pleasure for all his teachers to know and teach. I wish him the best in his future. Congratulations, Kai. Science has two awards, one for biological science and one for physical science. The honorees in biological science are Emma Beard, Isabella Brannan, Diane Dow, Emily Fitzpatrick, Victor Garibay, Ariana Hagee, Joshua King, Isabella Kolstad Khan, Ahn Nguyen, Christine Nguyen, Jordan Ogawa, and Angelina Tan. The four finalists in the area of biological sciences are Emily Fitzpatrick, Joshua King, Isabella Kolstad Khan, Jordan Ogawa. And the Biological Science Golden Hawk is awarded to Emily Fitzpatrick. Throughout her tenure at Ocean View High School, Emily has consistently been named one of the top science students of her classes. And in fact, before I even met her personally, she had reached out to me to tell me how dedicated she was going to be for her science studies. And she definitely proved that and also has shown just a natural ability and knack for science, which is definitely a difficult subject for many people. Um, I'm very proud of how much Emily has grown throughout the year and how um, I've gotten to know her and I feel honored to be part of her science journey. And um, aside from that, she's shown a lot of great characteristics of just being a great human being. She is thoughtful, kind, respectful, and willing to help anybody around her, including myself. So it is with great pleasure and honor that I announced this year's Golden Hawk Award for Biological Science to Emily Fitzpatrick. Congratulations, Emily. And now the honorees in physical science are Quentin Custodio, Jackson Angler Carlson, Kaylee Garcia, Christina Ho, Kiresh Kianfar, Caitlin Loom, Kate Marsh, Ethan Mayfield, 
Caitlin Nguyen, Lisbeth Peralta, Reagan Preciado, and Ethan Bow. The four finalists in the area of physical science are Christina Ho, Caitlin Boom, Caitlin Nguyen, and Reagan Preciado. And the Golden Hawk winner in physical science is Caitlin Loom. Caitlin has done an excellent job in AP Physics so far. She is one of the hardest working students to grace my class and her intelligence and dedication really shine through on a daily basis. But on top of that, Caitlin is also an incredibly moral person. She has really high values that she stands up for and she's unwilling to compromise uh, on those values. And on top of that, Caitlin is just a great friend to people in her class. She's always willing to help. Uh, she's always uh, putting herself out there and offering assistance to others. And she's always looking out for people and I think she really embodies uh, the values that we care about at Ocean View High School. And then of course, uh, the most important part, Caitlin refuses to let Jerry die. Jerry forever! Kaylin, really proud of you. And now the honorees in our special programs nomination. The honorees for special programs are Leo Gruber, Lauren Hermans, Wendy Hernandez Enriquez, Daisy Mendez Clara, and Robert Wilke. The three finalists for our special programs Golden Hawk are Lauren Hermans, Daisy Mendez Clara, and Wendy Hernandez Enriquez. And the Golden Hawk winner is Lauren Hermans. This is Incredible Times. I'm here recording a speech and not being able to present this wonderful Golden Hawk Award to Lauren Herms. We've come to this where it's a video recording congratulating somebody on winning something so special as this. Um, but I'm gonna talk about Lauren. She is one of the most incredible humans. I remember the first time I got to meet her. She was very scared, very timid. Miss um, Einhorn walked her up to me and you could just tell the nervousness and, and the paleness in her face about how scared she was to meet me. Um, but from that moment on, it was an incredible journey to the very end of her senior year when we had one of the most incredible experiences as a teacher I've ever, ever had. It was special and, and I'll, something I'll never forget. But Lauren, here we are. It's your end. It's the end of the senior year. She has gone through this incredible journey, as I've said. She has done incredible things in the classroom. Her 3.8 GPA, it was unbelievable. She challenged herself. She took IB classes. She took classes that challenged her in ways that she maybe thought wasn't possible. But she persevered. She, she worked hard and she passed all of those classes. Outside of school, she has pretty much engulfed herself into what it means to be a Seahawk. If I had to define what it means to be an Ocean View Seahawk, I would have to point to, to Lauren as being one of those people. She was there. Yes, she has two brothers. They are super annoying. I get it, Lauren. But you would never see her not at a football game in her warrior paint, cardinal and gold, rooting them on. She was there to support every person that competed. She was there in almost every sporting event supporting our athletes. Lauren worked hard. She worked with our ASB. And she was truly, truly a Seahawk. I can't begin to think. As I got to work with her through the years, I saw this mature, wonderful woman grow into one of the best and my one of my most favorite students if we can even say that as teachers and then it ending with one of the greatest things i've ever seen in her meeting and those of us that were there 
it was unbelievable. There was a lot of laughter. There was a lot of uh, maybe crying, shall I say. Um, but it was special. One of the greatest things I have ever seen. Uh, so Lauren, I know this is not the way we thought it would end. This is not the way it should end for any senior. But I'm super proud of you and I wish you the best of luck on your journey. And because I can, because it is a video recording, I get to say, go Bruins, one last time to you. The honorees in spirit leadership publicity are Kimberly Alvarez, Sarah Camarena, Kalista Driggs, Nikki Jackson, Allison Nguyen, Colby Nguyen, Riley Nguyen, Tammy Nguyen, Maya Penny, and Sasha Saunders. The three finalists in the era of spirit leadership publicity are Sarah Camarena, Allison Nguyen, and Tammy Nguyen. And the Golden Hawk winner is Allison Nguyen. Watching Allie lead is a lot like watching her play volleyball. She is everywhere and she does everything in her power to never let the ball fall. Unfortunately, in life and in volleyball, the ball eventually does fall when you don't want it to. And when it does, Allie is there supporting all her teammates, helping them and herself learn from their mistakes and excel at the next opportunity. She is one of the most patient, caring, and hardworking people I have ever met. But this isn't about Allie and volleyball. This is about Allie and leadership. Allison isn't one to back down from a challenge and will fight for what she believes in, but is always respectful of others' opinions. She has found her niche in leadership and has held the key roles in ASB as freshman class president, commissioner of publicity, commissioner of community service, and finally, ASB president. She is a strong, impactful leader, leading by example through her hard work and outstanding grades. She is a vocal leader that has gained respect by always showing respect to those around her. She is an amazing listener and communicator and isn't afraid to tackle problems, large or small. All of us that have worked with you over the last four years, Ali, have felt and seen what an amazing leader you are. Like all of us, you have had your moments of self-doubt, hesitation, and fear. But I hope that you also see how much good you have done and how much following your heart has changed the lives of those around you. You are an inspiration to those you lead as you strive to make the world around you a better place. We have seen you, we have felt your love and passion for leadership, and we know that you will continue to grow and lead as you open your wings and fly at Portland University. Congratulations on being awarded the Presidential Full Ride Scholarship. You deserve it, and so much more. May you continue to create beauty around you and bring joy and love to all you know. Thank you for your dedication, time, energy, and love that you have given this school. We love you, Ali. Next up are the nominees for Career and Technical Education which consists of photography, auto and auto engineering, and culinary arts. Here are the honorees. Alexander Ballard, Leslie Calderon, Leo Gruber, Daniel Hansen, Ray Hutchings, Carson Kessler, Anna Mendoza, Jacob Mooney, Tammy Wynn, and Anthony Vasquez. The three finalists in the area of career and technical education are Leo Gruber, Jacob Mooney, and Tammy Nguyen. And the Golden Hawk winner is Tammy Nguyen. Hi, I'm Yvette Martel. I'm Ocean View High School's photography, digital media, and yearbook advisor. This year, CT is very proud to recommend Tammy Nguyen for our 2020 CTE winner. Tammy, while maintaining a 4.3 GPA, has been involved in tennis, business academy, leadership, and numerous other leadership programs. This year, for yearbook, she was our senior editor. Without her leadership, her organizational skills, and her way to get the job done, I don't know if the yearbook would have been finished. But with that, Tammy herself is an incredible individual. After high school, she plans on going to a four-year college and studying neuroscience or pre-pharmacy. I hope that Tammy and um, all of the other Golden Hawk winners 
feels the love and appreciation that we have for each and every one of our students. We love and we care for you very much. And congratulations, Tammy Nguyen, for this year's 2020 CTE Golden Hawk winner. Ocean View offers Chinese and Spanish language classes. The following are the honorees in world languages. Samuel Alonso, Julissa Buteron, Emily Fitzpatrick, Sage Fra, Daniela Gavon, Caratina Galvez, Jessica Garcia Solis, Michael Gautier Barrett, Cameron Kazeby, Giselle Montes, Gavin Mosier, Jordan Agawa, Kai Fan, Daisy Rodriguez, Ashley Samperio, Amarani Tatempa, and Lydia Villanueva. And the six finalists are Julissa Patron, Emily Fitzpatrick, Sage Frock, Gavin Mosier, Jordan Agawa, and Lydia Villanueva. And the Golden Hawk winners are Emily Fitzpatrick and Sage Frock. Sage Forrest Frock is this year's Golden Hawk recipient in Spanish. I have known Sage since her sophomore year, which is also her first year at OV. I'm going to use a metaphor to describe Sage. Looking back three years ago in Spanish 3, Sage was like a caterpillar with opaque green stripes. She was quiet and tried to go unnoticed in class. IB Spanish 4 junior year, Sage's stripes started to become a vibrant green, talking in Spanish and even challenging her classmates. AP Spanish 5 senior year, her cocoon stage didn't last too long. Her classmates looked to her for answers. She immersed into the world as a colorful butterfly, ready for the next stage of her life. In the fall, she will study psychology and Spanish at UCLA. Overall, Sage is very dedicated, top three in her class. She has participated in track and field, is a co-founder of JSA and in many other clubs. She is a dancer at a local studio and a community volunteer. She is definitely a very decorated senior. I will always remember her as a kid who would stand at the door with me just to continue practicing her Spanish as I would greet students. I am so proud of her as a student, as a young woman, but more importantly, as a compassionate and deep conviction human being she is going out into the world as. Sage, estoy super orgullosa de ti. Felicidades, congratulations. I'm fortunate to have Emily Fitzpatrick in my class for the past four years. Emily is always creative and very gifted in writing, even writing Mandarin essay. I really enjoy reading Emily's essay. Emily has high standards for her work and she ranked number three of 273 seniors with GPA of 4.89. Besides achieving uh, academic excellence, Emily also enjoy connecting with people from different backgrounds. As we had opportunities to go to China last year, Emily genuinely enjoy mingle with uh, Chinese students from Shanghai. As an IB student, Emily embraced the idea that the earth is our village. Her passion for others will enable her to embrace the, the world. Upon graduating, Emily will attend Cal State Long Beach to study biology and to attend graduate school. I believe that Emily will be a great asset for our society, as well as enjoying a very special life ahead of her. Our final award of the evening is the Principal's Award, which recognizes students who have been named a finalist in three or more categories. This award acknowledges a wide breadth of academic achievements. These students demonstrate dedication, desire, and academic excellence in the very disciplines at Ocean View High School. We recognize and applaud their accomplishments as the ultimate in academic excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, your principal award honorees are Emily Fitzpatrick, Joshua King, Gavin Mosier, Allison Nguyen, Jordan Agawa, and Lydia Villanueva. To speak about each of our honorees, we'd like to welcome back our principal, Dr. Courtney Robinson. Thank you, Mr. Walsh. Our final award this evening is the Principal's Award, which recognizes students who have been named as a finalist in three or more categories. This award acknowledges a wide breadth of academic achievements. These students demonstrate dedication, desire, and academic excellence in varied disciplines at OVHS. We recognize and applaud their accomplishments as the ultimate in academic excellence. 
Once again, your principal award recipients are Emily Fitzpatrick, Joshua King, Gavin Mosier, Allison Wynn, Jordan Ogawa, and Lydia Villanueva. Every one of these students has excelled in academics, athletics, music, service to community, and more. I am so proud of each of you and what you have given back to our school. I know you will be successful in life no matter what path you choose to take. Please know you are always welcome back to OVHS and you are all Seahawks forever. I will miss you and I appreciate all of you. Thank you to everyone of our nominees this year. I know things are a little bit different than what we usually do, but that does not at all for one second take away all of your hard work and accomplishments. Please don't ever forget that you can't spell love without OV. Thank you. And now we would like to award our faculty staff scholarships. We used a random number generator, assigned you guys numbers, and pulled out four names for, based on those numbers. The, the winners tonight will be contacted by the school about the scholarship money they will receive. Graduating seniors will receive a check from Ocean View, and our underclassmen will receive a money in their account which they can use towards purchases for the 2021 school year. And the winners are Go ahead. Benjamin Bush, Christina Ho, Sophia Cornell, and Maya Penny. Congratulations. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Ocean View's best and brightest. Parents, I'm sure it seems like they've grown up all too quickly. Yesterday, you were wondering if the diaper changing, the Legos scattered all over the kitchen floor would ever come to an end. Well, tonight, in a span of what must seem like no more than a few moments, they become accomplished scholars, artists, craftsmen, and athletes. We hope all of you are healthy and staying safe. We love you and miss you so much. Thank you and congratulations to all of our Golden Hawk nominees. Good night. Good night.